Three-year-old trotting colts behind the gate. Matron final purse, 245000 they're off. There goes Liverman Hanover out for the lead. Victory abroad down toward the inside with Diamond Goal between horses. Hawkhauser gets away in fourth, racing up fifth, Fulfilled Dreams. Then comes Hard Rock and Roll. Quackpot trails. Liverman Hanover gets to the front. Victory abroad gets away in second, two lanes back. That's Diamond Goal in third. It's about three more back to Hawkhauser in fourth. Trotting fifth is Fulfilled Dreams. The trailers are. Hard rock and roll, followed by Quackpot. 27 and four fifths for Liverman Hanover, who leads by about a length and a half. Victory Abroad got away in second, followed by Diamond Gold third, two and a half lengths back. Hockhauser trots in fourth, then it's Fulfilled Dreams fifth. The trailers hard rock and roll and Quackpot. They go into the clubhouse turn. Liverman Hanover, in complete control, leads it by a length and a half over Victory Abroad. Diamond Goal is trotting in third and coming to the outside. Hawkhauser is fourth. Here's Fulfilled Dreams moving to the outside from fifth. Then it's Hard Rock and Roll. Quackpot continues to trail 57 and two fifths. They hit the back stretch now. And Liverman Hanover has the lead by about two. Victory Abroad sitting at the rail right alongside is Diamond Goal. Two back Fulfilled Dreams is up into fourth. Hawkhauser dropping back alongside Hard Rock and Roll. Nothing yet from Quackpot as they go by three quarters. Liverman Hanover is there in 125 and 2. Liverman Hanover, victory abroad. Back into second on the outside. Diamond goal. Fulfilled dream swings three wide. Down toward the rail. That's hard rock and roll. The others are far back. They come toward the top of the stretch. And it'll be Liverman Hanover turning home on top. Liverman Hanover, victory abroad. Tries the inside. They come through the stretch. Fulfilled dreams coming for Luke. Here comes Fulfilled dreams. Liverman Hanover, victory abroad at the rail. Here's the wire. Very tight victory abroad. May have gotten it over Fulfilled Dreams, but it's close. 154 and 4. Official returning to the winner's circle, number one, victory abroad. Owned by Jan Hobi from Oslo, Norway. Trained by Jimmy Tactor. Driven to victory by Dave Miller. 154 and 4 fifths. A lifetime mark for victory abroad. In the winner's circle, publicity director Marv Bachrod, manager of harness racing, John Hensley, along with winning driver Dave Miller. One six eighty dollars eighty cents. Thank you very much, Jack Gallagher. And uh, Dave, you've been in here twice this week with the matron wins, but none can be uh, more, I guess, relishing than this one, as uh, victory abroad certainly has uh, made up for that $265,000 figure he brought as a yearling. Uh, looks like he's just coming of age. Uh, yeah, he's uh, well. He's raced good all year. I mean, he's he's only win one race, but uh, he, he's always been right there. He hasn't dodged any of them, and uh, you know he's put in a, put in a good effort most of the time. And uh, tonight he's got a good trip. Well, last week Liverman Hanover was so good establishing the track record, and here you're one fifth away from that record. Uh, drawing the rail must have been a positive for you. Well, yeah. When I when I seen the draw, I, th I thought uh, hopefully I could get him out there on the right foot and, and uh, follow Liverman around there and hope to be second to him, but. Uh, uh, my horse was keeping up good up the back stretch, and uh, around the last turn, I thought I might have a shot at him. Well, this Colt is a full brother to one of the great trotters of all time, Continental Victory, who was a Hamiltonian champ and a horse of the year. He hasn't come up to that potential yet, but is he showing you some indication that he's going to be uh, uh, something even better than he's shown so far? Well, if I'm not mistaken, I think tonight was his last race of his life. He's going to go to Sweden now and stay in stud. Oh, well. Well, he goes off a, a very uh, fine performance here. Uh, it was a good uh, race with uh, so much action in there in the lane. There were three horses right across. Did you think you had won, or weren't you sure, or what? No, I was, we was going around the turn there, and I looked over at Luke, and I, 
and Larry, and uh, we all kind of shrugged our shoulders because we weren't for sure who got there. Uh, it was an awful tight finish, yeah. Well, it was a great race to watch and a great race to be in, particularly for the winning driver, David Miller. David, congratulations. You're having a fantastic season. This uh, 2001 season, keep up the good work. Thank you very much.